In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a Canon DSLR or PowerShot camera like this one and turn it into a webcam. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. So using a DSLR like this or a camera like this as a webcam is gonna yield you much higher video quality if you're trying to do some type of streaming or just wanting to do a web presentation. You can use one of these to get the best possible quality over your standard webcam just because the sensor and the hardware specs of these types of cameras are of course much greater than what's in that webcam. So today we are gonna be demonstrating with the EOS SL2 but again, this does work for the PowerShot Canon cameras as well. And even if you're on a different brand, such as a Panasonic Lumix, which is the camera that I'm currently using to record this, they also have some type of software that will allow you to use it as a webcam. You just may need to check the manufacturer's website to see if they have that available for a download. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So to get started, you're going to head on over to this website, which is usa.canon.com with a bunch of forward slashes. I'll be posting this link down in the video description. But essentially, we're going to scroll down. We're going to be using the Windows official release. Mac currently does not have an official release. It is just in beta, so we're just going to be using the Windows official. We've got a list of all of the compatible applications, but we're going to continue scrolling until we find the camera models that are listed here. You're gonna to want to find whatever camera model you have. It's usually listed on the very front of the camera. If you have an EOS model, you're gonna to want to search for here. If you have a PowerShot, come up to the top and select PowerShot and uh, see if it's one of these three here. So we're going back to EOS and for today's demo, we are gonna be using the EOS Rebel SL2. Two little asterisks just indicates that a USB did not come with the camera. So again, you will want to make sure that you have a USB cable that connects to your camera and the computer. So we're gonna click on the SL2. You're gonna click on whatever it is that you need to. And it's going to load us to the, uh, basically the product page. And we're gonna scroll down to where it says drivers and downloads and look for a software called EOS Webcam Utility 1.0 for Windows. Click on that. This little window is going to pop up. You don't have to worry about signing up for anything. Just close it and then click on the download here. This is going to download a zip file. If it does not download a zip file or you don't see it, you may wanna check your downloads folder. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and click the EOS Webcam Utility Zip. It's gonna open up this file and we're gonna run the setup.exe. So you're gonna to wanna to double left click the setup.exe and you're gonna go through the following installation prompts. You can click on next. Yours may ask you to choose an install location since I already have it installed. It's just asking me to repair it. I'm just gonna click on next and I'm gonna click on repair. You're gonna go through your prompts. You may end up needing the UAC. Go ahead and click on yes on UAC. And then once everything is finished installing, you're gonna again click on finish. Now we've installed the webcam utility. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna open up whatever program it is that you're gonna be setting up with the camera. For today's demo, I'm just gonna use Zoom since it seems to be a popular program for any type of like webcasting. So we'll click on Zoom. And up in the top right hand corner, I'm going to click on settings and then I'm going to click on the video tab. Now you can see that it's currently going through my HD Pro webcam C920. This is a Logitech webcam 1080p. I think it's like 30 frames. It's got a decent image quality. There can be some like washed out points, even though it automatically can adjust uh, to the brightness. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the little drop down and we're going to choose EOS webcam utility. You will need to see this in order for this to work on regardless of what program you're using, you should see the EOS webcam utility option. If you don't, you may need to uninstall, reinstall the software, go through and do a repair, maybe even reboot the computer and the software to see if you can get that option to pop up. Once you've got it, click on it. And as you can see right now, we're getting EOS webcam utility. It's a USB with a red X, just indicating that it's not detecting the camera. So all you need to do at this point is plug the camera into the USB and then of course plug the USB into the computer and then turn the camera on to the video mode. Once you've done that, it may make some tones for driver installation, but now you can see that we're coming through the EOS or the camera and it's a much higher video quality. So if I were to close these settings real quick and just create a new meeting, this will bring up a window where you can get a better uh, a look at the actual image quality. So you can see right here. So the, again, this is coming through the Canon. If we swap over to the uh, Logitech again, you can see 
again, it's not a bad camera. The image quality isn't great, but it's also not the worst. If we go back to the, the webcam utility, it's a much, much cleaner um, image. Now, if you do have a flip out screen like I do on this thing, you can actually go in and make adjustments on the fly. I have noticed there is a little bit of audio lag, but it's not anything that I would be concerned about. So if we click on ISO, we can go to 800 and you can see it instantly brightens up the image if we go back down to 400. But in any case, you can do this on Zoom, you can do this on Streamlabs OBS. So if you're into like live streaming on Twitch, you can go in and add a video capture device, set it up for the EOS webcam utility and get just a much nicer and much cleaner image quality. Now, just a few troubleshooting tips. If you're receiving an image that looks like this, where it says the EOS webcam utility, it's got a little camera with a red triangle. This is indicating another program is already using the camera and you're gonna have to go through your programs and find out which one is using it in order to shut it down and set it up on the new software. Now, a few other accessories that I would highly recommend with something like this, if you're planning on using your camera for a long period of time and you've just got a battery, you may wanna look at investing in an AC dummy battery that plugs into the camera and gives your camera an endless supply. Now, of course, depending on the setup that you're going for, whether you're streaming or broadcasting, you may wanna look at some stand solutions. They've got some really nice, like low cost budget adjustable stands that you can either clamp to the desk or of course they've got some tripods if you're doing like a webcast presentation. Either way, I will link a few of these product links in the video description that way you guys kind of have an understanding of what you're probably going to need for this in order to make sure that you have a successful outcome on whatever it is that you're doing. Anyways guys, that is going to wrap it up for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it and you got something out of it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And of course, if you did get something out of it, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to head on over to shop.helpcloud.com and check out some of our Help Cloud merch. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>